Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 11 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about creating freestyle project for a .NET application. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 through part 10, since this part is going to be a complete continuation of those parts. So we have already discussed about creating a freestyle project for a Java application in our previous videos. But this is the first time we are going to talk about a .NET application freestyle project for Jenkins. So this is really, really important because right now there is a cross platform and cross programming language dependencies happening across the organization and not just one piece of language is going to work out. So we need to have the knowledge on how to build different languages as well. And that's why in Excel Automation channel, we are going to talk about C Sharp as well. So I mean, .NET applications as well, right? So let's get started. So let's do a quick recap so far what we have discussed in our course. So far we have discussed something like this. We did the introduction and installation of Jenkins. We did the configuration of the tools required for Jenkins. And also we did the freestyle and pipeline project for Java with build, test and reporting. That is the Kukumba reporting that we saw, right? So those are the cool things that we discussed so far in our course. And this is really, really a stepping stone for the .NET project as well, because that's exactly what we're going to do. But here there will be a few change because the tools for the .NET project compilation and testing is going to be different compared to Java. So now we are going to work with the .NET project. Right. So how the .NET project is organized? Because the .NET project is not something which is pretty much similar to what a Java project is. Because in Java, we run in either Eclipse IDE or IntelliJ IDE or whatever IDE you like it. And the framework structure for Maven is different. Whereas for the .NET, the project structure is completely different. So how is that being organized? Well, the .NET project in Visual Studio looks something like this. As you can see here, there is a solution name and there is a project name underneath, which is nothing but Selenium and unit param. And there is a properties, there are some references and within those references, there are some kind of DLL files. And then there is an app.config file, there is a class file, there are some exe file, key code driver, right? And there is a config file again. So what is this and how, I mean, how are these project is going to really affect for Jenkins. Is there some implication on that? Of course, yes, there are some things to note down. As you can see, this project has dependency as like Maven project of Java. But here we have a NuGet package reference. In Java, we have a palm.xml file where all the references will be available for the Maven project within the palm.xml file. Whereas in NuGet, all the references are sitting under the references that you can see here on the screenshot. And these references are added either by the project reference or you can add reference for the assembly or com or you can add the references via NuGet package manager. So these are the different kinds of references that you need to add for your project. So if it is some third party reference like NuGet, you need to have that reference as well else your project is going to throw you an error and it's going to say that this reference is missing and you cannot able to compile that, right? That's one thing. And then the test framework used here is going to be NUnit as opposed to JUnit of Java. So we will have a different execution engine here for executing the test for the particular project. So it's going to be different as well. So we need to have these tooling. So NuGet is going to be a separate tool, which Jenkins have no idea of what this tool is all about. You need to tell it explicitly that NuGet is a tool which can be used for adding references for your project. Whereas NUnit is a tool which is used in the .NET world, which can be used for executing the test on the .NET project. You need to have to inform Jenkins beforehand because Remember in Java project while we were working on Jenkins, there was a Maven option automatically added where you can give the goal in your freestyle project, right? Those are some things available in Jenkins out of the box. But for .NET, no, Jenkins have to be informed that this tool is something completely different and we need to have this reference as well. I mean, the option as well. So we'll be working with adding these tools for Jenkins and informing that this is what it is. 
So the project that we are gonna work for from this video onwards is available in GitHub repo, and this is the URL. As you can see, it is available under github.com slash execute automation slash selenium and unit param. Well, this is a project which we use to showcase how you can run your selenium test parameterizing the value to be passed from a console command line to the project where it can spin up the test based on the parameter that you pass in from the console command line right so that's kind of project it is it's there available in Excel automation channel already and the videos have been released so you can also watch that video so that you can have a clear understanding on how this project is being built right so we're gonna make use of the exact same thing for this particular video as well right so let's see the whole talk so far we have made in an action from our next video so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day